The final stage is traditionally a flat-out dash for the Indian Ocean. With so little time between the top teams, it was a no-holds-barred battle. The initial shots being fired by Baij and Valken pair Kevin Evans and Max Knox as they hurtled through the cane fields. But they were soon reeled in by the EAI Wheeler team of Johan Rabi and Connie Luce, as well as Rhysiem's Eric Kleinans and Nico Bell, and race leaders Darren Lill and Waylon Wilcock. These three teams kept the pace high and in the optimistic hope that one of their six riders would flag under the pressure, causing a break, but to no avail as they all dealt comfortably with the tough work-to-be-done climb in Vernon Crook's nature reserve. Evans and Knox were putting everything into the chase, the defending champions keen to steal a stage win after a disappointing first two days. But having made up the time, with 20 k's to go, they came to a grinding halt on the old railway track when Evans broke his chain. Up front, Swiss star Connie Lusa pushed hard close to the finish and missed the turning to the floating bridge. Lil and Wilcock led them on, Rabi had Lusa on his wheel, until a subtle tide move caught Lusa off guard and he took a swim. Lil and Wilcock collected their second stage win and the overall title. Rabi and a rather sodden loser was second. The women's race was another dominant ride by Rhysiem's Ariane Kleinans and Cherise Stunder. Behind them, Sassel women's Yolandi de Villiers and Catherine Williamson lost ground early on when the British rider misfired on an early climb. They recovered well but couldn't stop Kleinans and Stunder from taking stage and overall honours on Scotra Beach. The unsponsored Lil and Wilcock pair taking the win over three days, a first for each of them. Rabi and Lusa taking second, well ahead of Kleinans and Bell. Stunder and Kleinans completely dominant in the women's.